You can add a data disk to a Linux virtual machine in various ways. You can use PowerShell, CLI, or simply the Azure portal. When you add a uh, data disk to a virtual machine, the file representing the disk is of type VHD and is stored in an Azure storage account. To verify the disk has been presented to the virtual machine, either run the fdisk-l command or tail the logs, the system logs, such as var log messages or var log kern.log, depending on your Linux distribution. fdisk-l will list the existing disks and the new disks. In our example here, we have no other data disks apart from the new one we have just attached, slash dev, slash sdc. We do, however, have sda, which represents the operating system disk, and sdb, which is the temporary or resource disk. Note, permanent data should not be stored on the temporary resource disk. We can then create partitions on our new device using the fdisk or parted command. Here we have created two partitions, sdc1 and sdc2. We then create file systems on our partitions and here we are creating Linux file systems of type ext4. We then obtain the unique identifier using the blkid command. This is required to identify the device will always be the exact underlying device. We then use the values to update the etcfs tab. Make the directories where you want to mount your partitions. And then we can mount our devices partitions onto these directories. Things can go wrong if we have an error in etcfs tab, if we have syntax error, or if we are referencing a device which is no longer attached to the virtual machine. When we reboot the machine, the machine could become unbootable. Um, and I always suggest the best way to test your device entries in FS tab is to run the mount minus a command prior to rebooting. This will test the entries in FS tab. So how do we fix problems with virtual machines? where the FS tab is broken and the VM is not booting. So every virtual machine configured correctly writes to a serial log. This serial log is located on the physical Azure host. Every virtual machine has an OS disk of type VHD. So if we perform an operation in our guest OS whereby we update the operating system or we make syntax changes in the FS tab, something breaks our FS tab, we then reboot the machine and the machine no longer comes back up. What do we do? Well, we contact Azure support who can collect the serial logs. They will analyze the serial logs and probably advise you to delete the virtual machine but keep the OS disk, keep the OS VHD disk. Once we've deleted the OS, uh, the virtual machine, we can then associate the VHD of that broken machine to another virtual machine, either a temporary machine or an existing virtual machine. Now, when we delete that VM, if it was the last virtual machine in a cloud service, we would lose the VIP address. So we then attach via the portal the broken virtual machines OS disk to another machine 
and mount it manually into the Linux virtual machine. So we can make a temporary directory and mount the device onto that temporary directory, which will then allow us to perform any Linux operation like modify the etcfs tab or collect log files from this machine. Once we have made our changes, save the changes to FS tab, we can then unmount the device. We have to wait for the lease to expire when we detach the disk from the virtual machine. We then can then recreate the virtual machine from the disks in our gallery.